Hi, I'm Ed Amoroso from TAG Cyber, and I'm here with Jim Miney, who is the Director of Solution Architects for Certainty, and also Kevin Beauregard, who runs Compliance and also is the Director of Sales. Nice to see you guys. Absolutely. Now, there's a concept that I've heard you both use frequently, this idea of inoculating data, somehow to make it more secure. Right. Um, Jim, let's start with you. Give me kind of an algorithmic view of what that means. Like, what are you sticking in there? What are you, what are you inoculating the data with? Well, we're taking the data and we're turning it into its own entity, uh, but we're also putting things like uh, uh, encryption into mm. it. Uh, we're putting logging, we're putting uh, uh, compliance, mm. uh, authentication and authorization, so that the, the data file itself is, uh, is able to act and react uh, to its environment, basically protecting the data from the beginning of the life cycle through to the end of the life cycle. Does that create some key management issues around it, or are the key management uh, issues kind of embedded into that inoculation process? That's a great question. What we do is we actually take the data and we break it up into pieces. Mm -hmm. We encrypt each one of those pieces with its own unique uh, AES key, mm -hmm. uh, and then we put those keys into the file. And so there is no external key management. The file actually manages its own keys as it uh, as it stands. Is recovery also something that's that's taken care of there? Like if there's a problem and I need to somehow recover the data, there may be some data owner who's disappeared? Or... The data owner is determined by the uh, creator of the data. Mm. And at that point, uh, that person uh, can open the file up without using uh, key management. They actually use an ID. Uh, and that allows them access to the keys to allow them access to the data. Mm. Now, one of the interesting things is we can get finite about that, uh, that uh, access and say if I've broken a, a gig file up into 500 pieces, I can allow them access to just you know one piece or three pieces or 100 pieces or the entire file. So mm -hmm. we're able to to allow access in a very unique way into the into the data while still protecting the rest of those pieces. So the the uh, open the person who has been given the rights to open that file may not even know that the rest of a, the file exists. They only see what they're allowed access to see. So Kevin, there's a lot of requirements around uh, like compliance requirements for encryption and so on. Right. Is this going to be consistent and, and sufficient for the kinds of requirements it might have like for PCI or HIPAA or, or anything like oh, that? Oh, absolutely. It would it, be. It does, absolutely. It does satisfy all the re regulatory requirements. Uh, as, as Jim was stating, you know, the keys are embedded within the data file, uh, making the, the file itself self-aware of where it is at all times including governance and compliance rules, okay? And, and also, um, you could actually have multiple, people, multiple different people utilizing the same file at the same time, but only have access to certain pieces. So that's also part of the governance and compliance rules embedded, that's embedded within our nano, nano engine, embedded into a data file. Now, also, our technology doesn't replace necessarily um, you know, a firm's mm. existing technology platform. It enhances it. And that's what we're about. We're about enhancing. In, 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 you know, bringing it to the next level of data security. So I can run parallel or in, in, sort of in a complementary mode to things that are there already? Absolutely. I'm not ripping things out? Correct. You know, we provide our API or SDK you know, into, in, in, and gets incorporated into their process. Hmm. Jim, you mentioned um, structured, unstructured. Do those algorithms work the same regardless of what the data looks like? Is it, it strikes me that Data comes in so many different formats and with so many different purposes and scopes and scales and sizes. Do you have to alter the algorithm you know, for, for different use cases or is it pretty uniform? It's across uniform the, across it really? data. To us, data is data. Hmm. It is how does this data exist? Is it a file? Is it, you know, what type of file? It doesn't matter to us. We can operate on the file no matter what type it is. And you said you break it up. What's the algorithm for that? Is this just breaking them into uniform, e more easily handled chunks? It's, it's random, and so that if I take the same file and I create a, a, a certainty protected file multiple times, each one of those files will be its own unique file. They will not be the same. So the breakup is part of the obfuscation. It's not just convenience of the algorithm. Correct. Interesting, interesting. I would think that, uh, Kevin, this idea that I can overlay this onto an existing infrastructure is a pretty big thing. As, as you were saying that, I was thinking how consequential it would be if somebody were trying to replace. But I can literally overlay this onto something that already, for example, is using TLS or something. Absolutely. Like that. And that's, that's why we do a lot on the testing and evaluation process where we have an agreement 
with the uh, prospective client to have, enable them to really look at our at the at the technology, mm -hmm. looking at it, how it, try and figure out where to place it and how to place it within his own organization, so that it's not overly it's not it's not overly encumbersome, but actually it augments. As I said before, augments the security in regard to that information. Well, this concept of inoculating certainly does resonate. There's a nice visual image there of yeah. taking something and, and embedding into it um, capability that makes it more secure. I would imagine, in a sense, that's probably the, uh, right, Jim, that as you're building solutions, that's probably the, the value proposition for the technology you guys offer. The other thing that, uh, that really needs to be said is as far as we're concerned, as far as the network's concerned or the existing security technologies, we're just another file. Yeah. So we transfer across networks without any issues. Uh, we can be stored in any format. We can go through any security, you know, uh, a VPN tunnel. Uh, we can actually be encrypted on top of being protected. So it, as far as the, the, the world is concerned, this is just a file. We don't modify anything. We uh, augment and enhance security. Well, in a community that invents new terminology every two weeks, I think we've just created an inoculation as a new term that we can reference in our work. Right. So I don't know whether to thank you or complain about that, but I, I, I'll thank you. The concept is awesome. But uh, appreciate you guys sharing. Very useful Great. information. Thank you, Ed. Great, thank you. Thanks.